Hello everyone, I am Hussein Khan and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor. Welcome to my channel. I've been using and teaching Adobe applications for the last 10 years. I've also worked on visual effects for independent movies. You will find my IMDB link in the description. In this Adobe After Effects video series, I'll be covering basics to advanced topics. Each video will continue from the previous video, so it's best if you watch it in a sequence. This series is perfect if you are just starting with Adobe After Effects or have used After Effects and wanted to learn the latest features and more. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications of the upcoming videos. There's a lot of fun things to learn, so let's get started. In this first video, you will learn an overview of the steps you would normally take in any project in Adobe After Effects. There are basically five steps in creating any project in Adobe After Effects. The step number one is importing an asset. An asset could be a video clip, an image, a Photoshop file, or Illustrator file, music, or an audio recording. We will learn more about the correct way of importing Photoshop and Illustrator files in a later session. To import an asset, we will go to File, choose Import, File. Or you can also use the project panel here. You can right click and say Import File. Or you can just double click in the project panel and you get your browser. So I have chosen this footage. The link to the footage is available in the description below. I will just select the video file. We have a video file called Balloon and I'm going to click on the import button bottom here. And when we do that, you can see that the video has been imported into Adobe After Effects. Up in the project panel, you can see the size of the video or the information that the video has. The next step is to create a composition. To create a composition in Adobe After Effects, there are several ways. You could have just clicked on this button over here, say new composition from footage. You could have achieved the same thing by going to the directory and pick up the video. Or in our case, since the video is already in our project panel, all we can do is we can just right click on the video and say new comp from selection. Or we can just simply click and drag into the new composition menu over here. So now you have a composition in Adobe After Effects. You can see over here that we have a timeline panel and the timeline panel has the video. It's called balloon.mp4. You have play hit or in technical term it's called a CTI or current time indicator. If you can scrub it, you can see the video is playing. You can play the video in a couple of ways. Number one is you can click on the preview play button over here in the preview panel. Or you can simply press the space bar to start playback and hit it again to stop. Step number one was to import the asset. Step number two was to create the composition. Let's go to step number three, which is adding effects. Let's say we want to enhance this video a bit. Let's use a common color correction tool, which is levels. If you know Photoshop, you already know what it can do. If you don't, don't worry. We'll get to it in another video. So let's select the layer and then go up to effect color correction and choose levels. Once you do that, you see now you have levels in the effect controls panel. And all we need to do now is just adjust the, the shadows and the highlights to give this video a bit of more contrast. We can also use the middle slider, which is the gamma slider. I'll push the shadows a bit more. To see a before and after, you can click on this FX button, before and after, okay. Another way for you to add an effect onto a layer is to use the effects and preset. All you need to do is you just click in the search bar and then just type in the effects that you're looking for. In this case, levels is there. Okay, so that's step number three. Let's go to step number four, which is adding titles. To add a text or a title in any video, you can use the text tool up here. That's a type tool. Click on it and then bring your pointer into the composition window. Just click once. And you'll see that you have a cursor where you can start typing your text. I'm just going to type in Balloon Festival. And if you use your pointer, if you click it away, then you can see you can move the title anywhere you want it. 
If you made a mistake, no worries. You can use a backspace to remove and then you can type in again. If you like to select the whole text, you just have to double click with your cursor to select the whole text. So over the right hand side, you have a character panel which allows you to change the fonts, the font type, the color of the font. You have your lighting, kerning and tracking settings here. Okay, and you can do uppercase and all that stuff. We'll get more into this character formatting in another video. But for now, I'm happy with what I have. I'd just like to put this in the middle so we can use the align tools. If you don't find the alignment panel here in the on the right side of the screen, you can always go to window and look for align. So now you have an alignment tool which you can click in the middle. We will align horizontal and we will align vertical. So now the text is right in the middle of the video. If you notice in the layers panel, you have two layers now. One is the video and then you have the text layer which is on top. You can also double click on the T icon in the layer to highlight the text in just in case you want to change the text or something else. That's how easy it is to create text in Adobe After Effects. It looks like our video is ready. So we have done a bit of color correction. We have put in some text and the next thing to do is just to export the video. So let's go to step five to do the export of the video. I think the composition looks good. Let's export. Exporting to video is called rendering and you do so using the Adobe Media Encoder. So let's render this composition. So we're going to go to composition and we will say add to Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder is a software that installs automatically when you install a software such as Adobe After Effects or even Premiere Pro. So let's use that. So let's click on Adobe Media Encoder queue and let's wait for it to launch. So once you have Adobe Media Encoder launched, you have your composition here ready for render. In this case, you can choose the codec type. So we're going to choose H.264 to keep it simple for this particular session. I can even choose a preset. If you're happy with any of the preset, you can choose any of the presets over here. Let's choose something for YouTube, which is going to use 1080p Full HD for YouTube. Under the output file, click on it and then you can now give your video a title. So I'm going to put it in the same folder as my original file. So I'm going to call this balloon. I'm going to put an underscore as a final. So this is our final video. It's an MP4. Let's click on save. So once you have the codec selected, you have your presets, you have renamed your output file. All you need to do now is just click on this green play button on the top right hand side. And then Media Encoder will start rendering your video. Since this is a very short composition, it won't take much time. It's done. So let's click on the video itself and let's view the video. There you go. There's your video all ready to go. Now you can see how easy it is to work in Adobe After Effects. You only have five steps to do. Let's revise the steps. Number one is to actually to import the asset. Number two is to create a composition. The third step is to add effects. Number four is to add titles. And number five is to export the video. I hope this video has helped you in learning Adobe After Effects. There'll be more video coming after this. Remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification of the upcoming videos. Thank you and I'll see you soon.